Uh, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gen 1 Randomizer Monotype series. We're doing Fire today, start with the Ponytar. Uh, big update at the start though is um, on last run. Last run we had a sensational time with Flying Type, we had Articuno as a start around main. The question is, did we finish first? I was on the Narn thinking it was pretty close, I'd have to tally it up to the psychic run. Well, I'm gonna open this up. As you can see, we did beat the record time, guys. We have a new leader. I cannot believe it. Honestly, I never thought the psychic run would be beaten. The last two runs, uh, we've had electric where we finished fed. Uh, it was second. Um, three minutes behind Alexam's time. We actually beat it by a minute dead on in the flying run. That was a sensational run last time, honestly. Uh, everything went right. We had, um, no Mart, we didn't go to a Mart. Uh, um, we also didn't, I think we bought a few X items, but we barely used any in early 4. Like, we had a really high quality early 4. Uh, so yeah, man, like, well, I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, interestingly though, I'll, I'll extend this out again. We did actually have a slower in game time by 40 minutes, but obviously, um, the total time is the one that concerns us. In game time isn't always accurate because some like reload and save state to lose a fight, etc. So the total time is what we go off. It was the same with fighting. We actually were 11 minutes faster in game time than uh, the poison run, but we're actually like a minute slower. Um, drill pack did not work. I, I made some annotations on the side here. Um, stuff two electric moves only. I'll, I'll do that one. Like I'll do a final bonus 16th episode where I'll kind of like look at this and. Maybe for like 10 minutes just to review it. Review how all the runs went, etc. So, let's close this window back down. Fire could potentially be a contender, however, we probably need to main switch it. I've started with Ponytail, which isn't a bad Pokemon, but it's pretty evolved. And it doesn't evolve until about level 40. It's either 37, 40, or 43, I think. In fact, no, I think it's 42. It's a rapid ash. Probably the latest. Evolution of any fucking pre evolvement to an evolved Pokemon, which is unfortunate. Uh, well, <laughs> that seems fitting. We're gonna make the rival on the star. That's on the night, of course, but uh. <laughs> I quite like that, oh, that worked out. So, as it is the fire run, we are Blaine, of course. Fire finished second last time, uh, although I think I started with the Charmeleon and ended up. Evolving it, main in the Charizard. So, I don't think we're gonna make even podium to be honest. We literally need everything to work out perfectly. Like, even in like the last run, we got through Blaine, uh, Surge's room really early, stuff like that. We got a repel through main. Yeah, we need a lot of luck. Okay, time had started then. Uh, well, that's a great start. Nice. Well, I drink already, so no rock tunnel yet again. It's the ninth run now. We haven't gone through rock tunnel once. We only went through rock tunnel three times or fifteen runs last time. So I think last time it's becoming a paranoid. It's just unlucky. Although, granted, I do know more like hidden item locations now, but we keep finding drinks like really early. So. uh... Hopefully we get a good move set. I'm gonna guess Ponytail starts with a couple of moves. Uh, two we've got. We need a move to deal with on the star pretty early. We do have a fire move. Quad resist fire, which is why I picked it. Oh my god. I mean, we've got a move to deal with on the star. The perfect move, a grass move. But we only have one move. Oh, oh shit. I definitely need to main switch. Shit, I need to find a fire type. I mean. I don't think it's impossible, like, the Electables run could have been. <laughs> Almanite and Amistar is everywhere. I mean, nice, I can grind. It's free XP. Level 7 already. Oh god, what? What is this happening? Like? Ah, but yeah, look at this. This is an example of something that could wall me, pretty much. It does fuck all to Gengar. No, please don't free me. Yeah, shit, we need Broxian to be good, again. Another run where we're so heavily reliant on it. Last time I did every Pokemon sort of four moves, I haven't done it this time. It's more focused on what you start with. 
Nintendo R&D and stuff. But it's more like representative of the type advantages and yeah, adds to the signs. I put one a bit. Why did I do that? Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely hindered and me a lot on the start of these and. Like I said, put a huge emphasis on um, Brock's TMs being good. Yeah, shit. I think I'm gonna pause it now and so. Okay, so it cost no time then. I just paused it for about 20 se 30 seconds and googled quickly Ponytail's moveset, and it is not good news, guys. I do not learn to move until level 30. So, uh, yeah. Depending on what Brock has, you could seriously fucking wall me. Any poison type, um, flying type, fire type, they're, they're just gonna fuck me. Like I said, it's not impossible, like Electabuzz could have been, where we started with two electric moves. And thank fuck, up until Brock, there was no um, ground types. But uh, it's still not ideal. Right? So, I'm gonna get five Pokeballs and I'm gonna go looking. We saw two Pokemon in our first week, there are more, but there's two that always appear commonly, and neither are fire. So, on we go. Oh man, that's a shame. Jinx is a good Pokemon. If this was the ice run, I'd be buzzing. No, it's not fire. Since I'll see two or three Pokemon here, I'll try and find the f a third encounter, and then I'll move on to the next week. Because honestly, there's not too many routes before Brock, of course. Okay, we've seen three here. We grind and up here. If needs be. Oh god, this is looking pretty ominous. Definitely don't think we're making podium. I feel like a lot of the runs remaining now, we're gonna be chasing fourth spot at best. Special types tend to fare better. Fire has potential, but. No Oh my god, okay, scratch that. Oh wow, that's so lucky man. Charizard which will run last time. Can we catch it? And hopefully it's got a good moveset. I've no idea how many moves Charizard to start with, but it's probably like 3 or 4, because it's fully evolved. That like Charmander's moveset. It, it is 4, it's all fire though. Oh my god, again we could get... Well... You know what, whatever, I'll take it. I'm fucking... So lucky with that. Another drink. I can't believe we found a Charizard so early. Nice boys. Let's go. We've got drink and we've got two Pokemon now, so I don't really need to go on my way for a lot of items. Nice if I can grind on this as well, it'll be a lot of XP. Um don't really need to grind out my way for a lot of these items. However, I do wanna hopefully find a repel for Moon. We've got two Pokemon now, so we don't need to catch anything else. What a find, man. Um, hopefully Gravel doesn't Earthquake me. Try and get XP. No, we're dead. Oh, no, it's Typhlus. This ground just nerfs to ground to give the pump in this. I guess we just kill the side off the ground. If I have to rotate out to get levels, it's not great because um, I do have battle style shift on. Nice Pyrus is fair though. The Weedle guys are level 9, I do just want to fight this trainer, just get Charizard up to scrap. Because of this moveset, Brock has a water type. Well, we're not fucked, actually. Because I can use Ponytar. Yeah, it's good the Ponytar's. Decent earth level. And it does have Razor Leaf as cover for Charizard's water wall. But nice man. Flamethrower on Fire Blast. Fire Punch and Ember. We literally got every fire move, it's a fire spin. <laughs> that was so fucking lucky man. Well Pony Star might have been runnable, but it was pre-evolved. Charizard's probably the best thing they could have had except Moltres. 
There was also Magma, Arcanine, could have been good. Um, Nine Tails, Rapidash itself. Oh shit. Might have to put a potion on Ponyzar. It's just all die. Even with. Oh, it worked properly for Rhyhorn. Okay, that's good to know. Hopefully the uh, ground run will start with Rhyhorn. I wouldn't mind that. Didn't it fight another one though, and its earthquake didn't work? What did I even fight? Oh, it was Graveler. Yeah, ground last time, last series I did, I started with um, Nido Queen. It would have definitely been capable of winning if Earthquake had nothing more for that. That was a mistake. Just went to Arbor. I'm gonna have 11, that's good enough, I'm just gonna run. Well, hopefully it's good enough for Brock. We don't know who's got it yet. But the fact Pony Star is a decent level, um, is encouraging. I can't think of a type that would warm me here. This Pokemon I'd rather see, obviously. So I've still got a potion and another drink for heal, so it didn't go to the centre yet. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's important we did get the Charizard then, because fuck me, Pinter would have walled me with Pony's heart, 100%. Razor Leaf wouldn't have done a lot to that. The champ might have Earthquake. Jump kick. We resist Jump Kick, of course. Nice. Through. Okay, scratch this guys. Like this run could be on for a really good time. What we need though is good TM coverage. I mean obviously I'm gonna teach slam because it's something else, but it's it's not great. I hate slam because it's only 75% accurate. I don't like moves that aren't fully accurate, which is why I'm probably gonna get rid of Fire Blast and with Suniki playing for her. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna buy all the escape ropes I need for the run, pretty much, you know. Uh, maybe I should have bought an Awakening, just in case, but it was like, reload. Yeah, they, this, that's always like, standard, really, um, one second, let's close this window a bit. It's always kind of like, um, the first, we're learning the other fire move, fire spin. You know what, might as well teach it over fire punch. It deals less damage, but fire spin actually, if you outspeed an opponent, you can get them stuck in a loop. Uh, Parasect is the perfect Pokemon to run into. It's quad weak, and it gives us good XP. Magic Guard's so shit, the flame bro still probably kill it. Yeah, it's perfect good measure. Yeah, if I had speed something, it's, it's like rap on Gen 1, it's kind of busted. If you get stuck in something like that, you can't use a move until like the end, so. It's slow, fire spin killing. Um, it's something like Seedra here, it could be useful for taking chances with a slam. I'm not gonna risk slam again. Block. I just kind of like get it stuck like this, so I can't do fuck off. Level 16 already, boys. Oh, I didn't mean that. Shit. Of course. I think I have an answer, though. I have to go back to center anyway. I'll put the answer though on if I do have one and carry on. <coughs> I have two, in fact, nice. Yeah, I remember now. I'll pick one. So, yeah, I panic. Within a few minutes, I thought this run might be a pretty slow one. Um, but we definitely can aim to like top off scoreboard now. Charizard's a really good Pokemon. Like I said, it, it got me second last time. And I'm probably actually ahead of last one, because like I said, I think I started with John Mewing. Thankfully all its fire moves are working properly as well. Tested.
Yeah, it's, it's so weird that like certain types just never have a problem. I've never seen a fire type move be typeless. It's mainly ground flying. Uh, we have seen it occasionally with fighting and psychic as well. Nice. So through this route. Still got no repel for Moon though, which is a freaking shame. That's gonna add like a few minutes probably. Gyarados is here. So if we didn't fly in again, we'd have had good options. Charizard, Gyarados. Gary Dose. So the tail is off. Don't need to buy the magic car. I used to buy shit like that just to see what it was. And then I was like, oh, the puzzle in the PC, but like, can't even do that now. Honestly, even like that time loss would be fatal. Ooh. Crowd Bomb is good. Uh, let's go to Fire Spin, probably. It is too slow. It'd probably been quicker if I just missed the slam first and then hit it on the uh, thing. So, um, I am gonna. S it's gonna cost me a lot of time because encounters, but I am gonna go on my way to look at every item on this floor of Moon just to uh, hopefully find a repel. If you're not long run, we'll time save. Maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Oh! Nice! We found one. Shit, I like Zama's here as well. Some really good Pokemon early on. The Psychic Run would have had a few good options. Nice though. Super Repel should see us out there, I think. We've got a Hyper as well. <laughs> or Awakening. That's bad. No. I bad at that last three runs. Oh shit. Mm, probably playing for it. Oh god. I should have fire blasted it. No, I'm paralyzed as well, bro. Shit. Oh my god. Why is it no thunder? Oh, let's go. Fuck, I didn't get paralyzed from me. Well. That was almost a fatal error. Mm, time waste. Yeah, the moves that I've got at the moment, um, it's still probably worth using a bit of my super repel to check this TM. In fact, I should have saved stage in case it was shit. It was, so. yeah, I should have saved stage at the top of the stairs because my super repel will run out now. At some point in this cave. Oh my god, we got another one. Wow, that's so lucky, man. Yeah, the holy shit. This game's into really good. This is a run that... Could maybe beat the record time? I don't know. It's got half a chance. Go, oh, there's Maltrez. We would have had info on Maltrez. So Crab Hammer has a high crit rate. Not quite as high as some like Slash or uh, Crytor. But it is, I think, only 85% accurate. Oh, that's actually way down for. Bit of money. Need to crop on a bit. Let's go. This earthquake will actually hit me there. It's one downside. To um, yeah, it doesn't actually suit this run. Go. Have I? I don't think I've missed a slam yet. Actually, it, it is seventy-five percent accurate. Just get lucky and a nice crit on Kanga. Well, that guy had a really high quality team. We just breathe for it. 
out the crit is still probably to kill it, but it might have been, been a range. Yeah, let's fucking go, boys. Nice. Really good start there. Against the odds somewhat. We'll get that to the end. Already got it. All the fire moves. On another runner, they've been like, oh my god, the hype! <laughs> Don't need it. I could give it to Ponytar, I guess. I might as well, I suppose. Oh, nah, I'm no kidding, I'll just sell it. Charizard will deal with everything. It's fucking OP. Sick Pokemon. So, what's Misty got? Misty's not been a problem like any of these runs. Uh, might be here though. Oh no, I've got crab on. Let's go. Bro, the accuracy and slam. Stop it. Fine, bro, this is the left one. So, it's your TM Misty. You've given me some really good ones lately. Uh, yeah, not bad. I think we get rid of Fire Blast there. Again, it's almost. Powerful move. Um, but it's only 85% accurate and it's not great PP, so sooner not have it. The only move with low, like 5 PP I'd be interested in is Blizzard. Blizzard 6. It's 90% accurate in this game. And uh, Ice just does really good coverage in this game. There's so many like ground but blind Pokemon. Seen a lot of Pyrus's, long way I continue. It's an auto warp over. Whatever level it is. Nice man. Yeah, I'm, I'm running into a lot of Pokemon that are like weak to fire so far. Definitely getting like better luck on what I'm running into compared to fucking the Articuno run. And the Electables run, I think. Oh no, is it it was yeah, the Polyrath run we Run into some nasty. Nice! Crap on that. With the crit. Oh my god, will I nice punch as well? Bro, if it's gone up now, this could be a very fast run. It's not quite as good as Ice Beam or Blizzard, but it's still good coverage. Although, I do still need a move to deal with um, Omastar effectively. Once it starts getting like the same level as me or above. Crab Hammer will take two or three hits to go. Nice. Immediately we've got Ice Punch to wear. Should save me Flamethrowers. Where can Ice Punch? It's got 15 PP both in it. Okay, I should have Ice Punched the blue. It's a long route this. It'll be the longest run of trainers in a row on this, um, in these runs that do. I've not missed anything yet. I, I, I should have actually say that, because like, sooner or later I'll come up against... It's always like big battles you'll miss, like the next rival battle or something. I'll just fucking miss like three times in a row against Star or some shit. Nice. Yeah, definitely having uh, our first slice of luck so far. We're still probably behind the foot of oh, shit. Oh wow, okay. This is a threat. Even the level difference. Thank fuck. Oh my god, yeah. It had fucking new guitar. Thank god didn't use um, Psychic. Couple of Psychics and might have gone down. So give it a crit. Yeah, the, the 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 first three were all such sensational runs. Like I've done three runs sub one hour twenty five in this series, which is incredible. I never expected that. 
I never even fought one out of it. It was possible, but we just honed our path and roots. And I had a really good moveset, really good Pokemon. Like, definitely been fortunate with what we're running too early, etc. And what we've named in all of these. Um, but yeah, like, we're slightly behind the other times, I think, because of the main switch, but I don't think we're far off at all. I think this is a very good start. Yeah, I'm saying we're lucky with what we've named, etc. Started, perhaps, but this is a ninth run. I don't think it is luck, per se, you just you run into so many different Pokemon early game that you're bound to find at least one or two things that are good. Fire is quite a common type as well. It will get harder. The worst suck we had was with Ghost, where we didn't find another Pokemon, but probably see that again in Dragon. Grass could be the next run that does really well. There's a lot of good grass folk on this game. So we are, again, we're probably more likely to find like something that could be a really good main. Or ground if we start with. What was the thing that hit me before? Golden. Rhyhorn, that was it. Yeah, Rhyhorn would be the dream start for ground then. Oh, there's Rapidash, a fully evolved starter. Shit, didn't mean that. It didn't matter. So, of course, Rapidash would be the very final Pokemon we fight in this run. Um, I'm going to teach Charizard Surf in this run, more than likely, though. Unless it lands Earthquake, or Dig, or something. I would like Thunderbolt for water types. Again, sooner or later, something's gonna live hyper fun. Something like a Blastoise or a Cloyster. Cloyster kind of rolls me a bit. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna fight that guy. I think I'm actually content with the moves I've got now. Um, but I think I will go to the Mark. Because I need Razor Leaf or Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, I need something to deal with. Um, thingy, so. The fact that I am going to the Mark. Is making me not fight that guy. That guy has like two or three Pokemon. It's probably like an extra 45 seconds a minute. And every minute counts right now, guys. It's such fast times to try and use it. Definitely feel that like barring bad luck. We should at least finish 4th with this run, with this start of our... Let's check out this, let's take what we did, let's escape right out of here. I'm getting better at remembering to do that in builds. Yeah, and that saves about 30 seconds. I'm gonna heal for PP purposes. And uh, yeah, we go straight the Mart now. Although, actually, we're doomed by repels. Probably the most really good, like, money items I've had so far. Oh, look at that. Oh, we didn't even look at it. Headbutt. Mm, don't really need headbutt. It can flinch opponents, to be fair, but I think Hyperfang has a high crit rate. So yeah, we're looking about 27, 26-27 minutes in, leading to a win. But yeah, it's pretty good. This guy's going to give you a TM. So yeah, Ice Beam, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Razor Leaf, Earthquake, Dig. They're kind of like the moves I'm looking for. I don't really know what's okay here. <gasps> oh shit. Besides Fireboss, maybe. 
Yeah, could have been a lot worse. But you split it on me or something, so. Mind you, no wild Pokemon are ever gonna use Surf. Do you never use. Do you never know hate gems? Crap armor would have probably been the worst thing you could have used on there. After Blizzard. Uh, you know what? I always do this. I always leave and go left. I should start just going straight right, because then I can pick up Psychic in the way. Well, whatever this is going to be. Growth. It's a free X special, but it just takes up a sort in the move, so I'm going to buy a special. The days gone by, I would have taught growth. But. I feel like I now know the, the meta completely for like doing these fast. And in the past it has involved not coming here, but I feel like I need to. But yeah. We go to the CM shop last, um, so we want to make room. So we just get these out the way first. Let's just sew the car. I need to buy a polka doll as well, I can pick one up. Bath Oh my god, that was Blizzard. Let's fucking go. Pawn us out. Right, we've got one of the moves we wanted. Come on, that. Holy shit, nice. So we get rid of Ice Punch. Good. What was the one? The uh, Constrict. Yeah, they're all shit. So I'm just picking them up, I can sell them now on the way back down. Uh, should I buy X items now? No, I think I'll come back. Just because... But I'll... Shit, I'm so I'll buy the CMs first, then I'll come back up. I need, I want as much room in my party to buy as many TMs in like one go. As I can. Safe state. Should be able to buy them all. Oh, I think I've got enough room and money. I need to check TM2. With the fast menu, you kind of scroll a lot faster than you intend to. And I think I might have skipped over two. Uh, I don't think I had room for 17. Okay. Is a peck? No. Flame for it? No. There we go. It. Would have been good though. Oh, another day. Oh, Bone Club. I think I'll teach that over Hyper Fun. That a jump kick? Maybe? Alright, oh, shit. Which one was Bone Club? That was TM2, so we did pick up two. Now all we have to do is check the last one as well. Counter. Look at that. So yeah, let's check out of that. Oh, let's go boys, nice. Uh, okay, let's get out of this pitch. So, pretty good moveset now. Bone Club, Crab Hammer, Blizzard, Fire, Flame Throws. Really good coverage. Um, gonna move. Bone Club. Oh shit. Still need Thunder Bottle Rage Relief, really. What a time to miss, though. I've only missed a handful of times, and it's always against the fucking water spoken. You know, the, the one type that 
I'm never that confident I'm gonna put in one shot. I hope so, just for now. Just gives us from the ball. Be nice. Or Erica. Did you Mega Drain on To be fair, Mega Drain's fucking shit. Like 40 base power. Grass like only has one good move in this. No bro! Fuck it, Razor Leaf me. It's the worst move anything can use on me. Nice. But again, like I've missed about five times in this run and it's always on fucking these cons, water type. Normally I go straight to get the uh bike fog chip, I might as well do it after the insert. Again, it sounds so pedantic, but like every little helps. It'll save a bit of time. Me going left when I'm like gonna head left on the path. Anyway. Okay, so the Oh my god, he's got a fucking It's twice before me too. So far, that's not good RNG. Don't confuse me. Nice. Again it didn't have psychic. It's kinda lucky. I wanna fucking use Blizzard on something to test it. Nothing. Oh my god, yes. I didn't actually expect it to one shot it. Let's fucking go, boys. Yeah, it's a good time. Maybe we could finish there. Definitely good enough move, Seth, but at least four now, actually. It's each set. Like I said, I still want Thunderbolt or Razor Leaf. Or Thunder Punch, even, something like that. Just anything to do with water type. Maybe even Thunder. I mean, it's. 70% accuracy though, it's kind of garbage. Thunder Shock still wouldn't be good enough. No, actually, like the only attack and electric type moves in the game. You don't have Zap Cannon. You don't have Vault Tackle. You don't have, you don't have Spark even. Okay, how is our luck going to be in the Surge game? Oh my god. I'm so fucking lucky. This is a good run. Bro, three times in this run. It's been bottom left, then immediately to the right. Is it like... I wonder if there's like a percentage that can happen. Like maybe if that never happens, we should just leave here. Oh nice, we should probably got phone club now. Let's go to Chansey. If we were all special, it'd take a while to go up. Oh shit. Oh god. Clefable's a good Pokemon. We might go down here. Oh shit! The free HP clutch. Well in Charizard. Good work, son. Gives you a bubble beam. Crab Hammer's better. Fucking hell, I was never rocking. Nice. Okay. Every time I'm like, I'm not gonna repel here. Every time we're into some cool. So now we go and get fly. And we'll go and get the bike. And uh, from Charge Hill. I might not even need X items with Charizard on, so it's good enough. The only thing that does concern me is I'm quad weak to rock. So, like, I could seriously get fucked with something in this run. Take it as my move to do. Well, I do have Blizzard. Yeah, I was like, my move to deal with rock Pokemon is crap, I'm like, 100% accurate. Uh, 
top of the torso. It's a ponytail, a flying horse. A fucking Pegasus. Yeah, a bit disappointing to be fair at the shop. Uh, be it we have Blizzard and Bone Book, which are decent, but. An electrical grass move is. is it's so needed, man. I feel like that might kill this run's chances of um, doing anything, really. Bro, just flew the wrong place. Tell you what, let's just go and fight Erica while we're No, they'll do that on the way back. It does get us an extra TM earlier. Yeah, normally I go from Cerulean to Lavender, well, Saffron, then head to Lavender. Then, um, then we come back here, fight Erica, and then just go. And it probably is quicker doing it this way. Yeah. So I have to like get out and escape. Now, as soon as I get out here, I just. Well, fuck. Did I save state there? <gasps> no, boys. Oh, it just cost time. You know what? It wasn't a huge amount of time. Lots. Still, that was a mistake. It only sent me back a fight. Actually. Fuck, though. That's my bad. Shit. Damn, man. Oh wow, Muse here. Run into some really fucking good psychic Pokemon. Wow. Alakazam, Jinx, Mew. Ah, shit. I was literally gonna expand the file option there and check if it save state, but I was like, surely it would have before Jim Mulder. No. It cost me like a minute. Plus. It's a shame. Yeah, we're definitely not finishing top 3 now. So even something as simple as that, it's just over. The top three, because the time just so good. I will do that fight Erica Strap first again now. I think it's a good idea. No, I can't even fly. I didn't fight. Oh my god, a safe state before Surge. Fucking hell, man. I can at least cut, so I'll tell you what, we'll fight Erica while we're here. Oh, that was big. Well, well. Man, it was such a good run as well. Again, it's, it's not tragic, tragic. I'm just gonna fight Erica before Surge for the first time in this whole series, actually. But, uh, yeah. Definitely a mistake. Now I'll save safe. <sighs> shit. Now I have to fucking bike it back to... No, no, just walk back to familiar. It's a bit of a niche. So if you had something to kill me... Boy. That was Magnemite, correct me. Fighting out of Magnemite? What? Didn't I die so Magnemite before? Maybe it's the gym leader before and I've just spaced out them. Oh, body sounds decent, but we don't want it. So as soon as the coverage. Yeah, a bit of a death moment. I've got the reload save state, we've been chilling. But of course, like, if I've save stated and I'm still next to Sage, I should have re realised it's because I'm just about to fight him. I just walk straight back out. Shit. I hope I don't have to do the fucking motorised door game again. That'd be awful. Slam my repel on. Run into wild there again. Garbage. 
so I can just go straight to Sarthorn. Yes, don't have to go through it again. A wee breeze past us last time. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, obviously I must blow one in time. Fuck that, didn't I? Rock sliding. In the bed. Don't lower my speed and I'm fine. Nice. G. And Surge gave me Bubble Beam, didn't he? Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Now we can fly again. So yeah, it's annoying. It, it sent me back for like, 5 minutes, that whole thing. Guys. Now we can get the bike again. Still think four places up for grabs here though. But yeah, I, I think that's the best we can do, pretty much. As a gauge, when it's come to like the fastest runs, usually about an hour in, I've been like up to Sabrina. That's like the best split, and usually about half an hour I'm kind of at the ship. So you might like now. Stop on you. Stop on you as well. A right home can't hit me with Earthly. She's good. So, um Can't expect Bone Club to keep one shot on the armor star. This rival could be tough. Did I get Ugh, I forgot to go. Can't expect for a sec. Bro, I didn't save sick. No, we're doing not. I've been banned. I'm gonna save state a lot more now. So that fuck up. So as long as I'm not doing it in battle. I actually did do that on a psychic run towards early 4 and I just didn't realise. I watched it back and I was like shit. I save state like a couple of times mid battle. But stop missing, please. Load me speed though. So I think I'm gonna switch out. Just fucking kill me, Golem. Yeah, it's sooner kill me, so we can just get on with it faster. Get the XP for Shadow Stop missing, man! I'm missing everything in this fight! I did call it! I'll start missing and it'll be in like the hard fight. Like a big milestone fight. Oh fuck's sake, it cost me as well these misses. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? How many times did I miss in this fight? It was about five times then. Fuck me. That's some bullshit up. Watch, with like a normal RNG, I'll breeze through this fight. Yeah, as expected so far. It's just showing how unlucky that was. So many things had to go against me to lose that. Or potion and not game. Easy this time. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, Misty. I'm not even gonna bother getting them items there. Although, actually, I don't think I have a single ether. And um, we probably will need it for the ball. It's okay if I do go with no X item. But yeah, that needs to be rectified. 
Okay. I'm still not gonna go on my way to pick up shit, like in Silk or here. Yeah. I'll just pick them up, like, on my path. But, yeah, we need to get. Oh, nice, there we go. There is one. And the next special. Just in case, emergency. Where's my repel now? Yeah, good. You can't always tell, because, like, the text so far today, it's just like. The screen flashes white for a second. A split second. Nice. I've run into some gods like. I fought two Maltrezers. A Zap Goss. Well, that was optional. Two Mewtwo's and a Mew so far. I fought Kangaskhan already. I think I fought Snorlax. Clefable's not ideal, because it's got such a high special start. The favor is just a good Pokemon all around, honestly. It's so underappreciated. Underrated. Got such balanced stats. Yeah, like I said, normally an hour, it's kind of like at Sabrina. I don't think we're gonna quite do that. But honestly, we won't be that far off that time. This could maybe have challenged the front three if it didn't fuck up the reload. And uh, running away from Surge, not to run all the way back. Yeah. Another Kanga. Nice. A bit nervous about that one. Not sure whether it kill. Oh shit. It's the one thing I don't want to see. More than anything. I'm afraid special stats are so weak that like playing pro just still does work. No, I don't want to learn Sky Attack is a shame. I mean it's too soon anyway, so I probably would not have but you know my whole flying type moves are probably just full. I'm not even gonna bother testing it, honestly. It's like drill pack would have probably been the second best move of the land ordinarily. I know it's a lot of good Pokemon, but I don't mind it, as long as I'm still one-shotting them. I'm getting a lot of XP. I've got the moveset to do with them. Except the water Pokemon still. Yeah, where is Thunder? Thunderbolt, etc. Yeah, I'm I'm for the water Pokemon with really high defense. That's why I'm not Bone Club and Kingler and Cloyster. Their specials are so awful that Flame Bow does still do work. Like I said, so that's fortunate. Uh, so now we go to Koga. We need to heal when it's a future. So, get your guesses in, guys. What is the Snorlax going to be? In three, two, one. Ah, um, two. Cocoon. <laughs> Maybe I'll well kill it. Why not? It'd be good for the bug, which we still yet to do. Which could be a really awful one. Last time it was actually really good. I run Venomoth. And Bug ended up finishing like fifth or sixth, which is surprising. I thought it'd be like a contender for the last place. I'd still probably predict that the bugs to come. But you never know, let's see. Definitely like physical Pokemon tend to do a lot worse in the end. Come 
Hunter. That was a flame throw this time. I've only got five left of this. Could have still gone for the bone cold there. Just don't want to miss any hyper things, you know, something like that. Beedrill is pretty high attack. Yeah, save it rock slid for me. Still not been hit by a single rock move. Which will be that continues. I know we did I think I did one time. Is it be honest? No, no, I didn't try. Um this might live. No, no. My last blizzard, shit. Should have done that. Probably gonna regret it now, immediately. Tangler comes. Uh, Tangler would do that actually. Oh. That's not good. Stop missing at uh, fucking. Every time there's a rival or gym fight and a water Pokemon comes out, it just fucking misses. Charizard just goes white. If this doesn't crit, probably will. Didn't? Nice. Oh, fuck off, man. It's got a team full of them. I've got no revives. Yeah, I'm dead. I'll have to just go and heal. It's still gonna be tough. I can fall HP. I don't think I've got any revives. Uh, I might have to come back to future, honestly. For the first time. I might have to go and do Sylph and Sabrina before Koda. Just don't have a mood to deal with them. I'm gonna be getting rid of Crab Hammer in a minute. Or Sir. Uh, we will pick up these TMs. So I'm still on the lookout for a couple of moves. Maybe some bubble and top start. Top start. Oh, rare candy. Some change looks from Bummy. Ooh, beats candy. <laughs> Yeah, the Articuno run's the only run so far we found where I kind of got a fucking existed, man, honestly. And I saw one, I was like, oh, shit. Sure. No, I got my sing. There you go. There's only two TMJ. I don't know for this one. No. No, it's the sky, I thought. Runs out or run into something immediately. Classic. There's another TM over here. We got room. Should have room. Just toss two things with a can now. Toss the other tough. Don't need that. Oh shit, what else can I. Oh, I, can... I don't need the awakening now for the flu. Uh, I have to. Go to PC. No, I think. Fucking Leah, come on. What are these TMs? The best moves I've, I've already got. Flame throw and fucking thing. Flame throw, fire boss. At least we got Blizzard. But then the next best is Ice Punch, which became redundant after Blizzard got. Yeah, this is probably like the save I've done the gym leaders in the weirdest order. I had actually beat Surge, beaten twice, but technically this run I went Brock, Misty, Erica, Surge, Sabrina, Koga. It's looking like. So now we just want Thunderbolt or Razor Leaf instead of. Um, Bone Club. 
I'm not okay, I'm gonna find it, man. Yeah. What what Pokemon's killed this run really, I feel? When it comes to Elite Four, it's the law of averages is gonna be at least like four. Maybe five water Pokemon. And they're gonna be really, really fucking awful. Uh shit, I should have done a sense of uh into the positive stuff. There is a TM we can pick up in here. That's not up it's what you on our path. I'm not gonna go out the way to get all these. You probably have to like beat trainers to get all the others. I'm gonna a lot here, hopefully. Okay, this is really handy for Elite 4. This might be the run where we like beat the Elite 4 at the highest level. Break the record, I think that's 56, one of the Gengars did it. Oh. So if we do have a fight in particularly struggle and against Elite 4. We've got a water Pokemon, it's cooking in. The two can't leave on there. Go on, CM43, deliver. Ah, fuck you. Ah, bro. Even some like psychic for water Pokemon wouldn't be bad. As it stands, it's just got chuck shit. This almost thought was gonna be a threat, I forgot. Man, I could be like world for a while. Though. I think I'm gonna set up the next special for this fight. In advance. Could already tell it's probably gonna be grim. Even with it. Not hurt me. My waterfall. And it didn't even crit. A crit would have maybe killed me there, because it would have ignored my boost. Water Pokemon everywhere, man. Yeah, it's completely cooked me. This. It knows withdrawn and missing shit. This fight's really awkward. Fuck. <sighs> Give me a chuck next attack. At worst, I could always go to Celadon and just buy them all now. How many self and I release though? Maybe one shot the Arbor. You get a crit. Don't know ever it would have one shot. I'll just try and flame throw the CT. Okay, maybe not. Maybe should have blazed it. Obviously, it crits me with a multi hit move. Now every turn's gonna crit. And it fucks me. Yeah, we have to get out of there. Use another on escape ropes. I had one extra. Oh, man. Just that lack of electric or grass moon is. Yeah, it's really kill those. Thunderbolt's honestly probably like the best move you can find in there. What do you do? Alright, we should buy revives on it. Sure. Alright, let's go back now. First time since, was it the Polyrock run I think, where I've kind of hit a bit of a wall in terms of fights on offer. Yeah, definitely again, I think a case of what might have been this run. It's still a good time, don't get me wrong. 
start through this. However, this fight, even with the selfs, is, is gonna involve elements of RNG, I think. Because of the fucking fact that... I can't really set up on the Arbok. Sick. Yeah, we go straight to level, level 3, though, it's quite that guy. Yeah, Waterfall could crit me. Um, ideally, I want to put an special on and actually hope Seeking hits me with Clamp. Again, though, it's on more people who are in too. Like, they're all fucking fully evolved. Couldn't have started with, like, a fucking shitty Jigglypuff or something, did it? Yeah, this doesn't one shot. Without the crit plane for her. Oh, Waterfall doesn't have a cry high crit rate. That's, um. thingy, isn't it? That's, uh. <sighs> yeah, that's crap, Hannah. Huh? Waterfall has a chance to flinch, but of course, when I'm going first, it doesn't matter. I should have just taped this honestly, and then revived and hit it again. It'll probably one, one shot me once more. I hope it's save state before this fight. I will double check. So, it's currently 240. 230, yeah, I did. It's fucking seeking, get a side of fence as well. It's like Bone Club doesn't do much. See a crit? Why wouldn't it? Tell you what, the best thing to do here is to revive Ponytar. Light it kill me. Use the Ponytar. But then I've still got fucking Omnistar to do with as well. At least Bone Club is super effective instead. Now we're allowed to beat it again. I'll need to extend that. Of course, now it's the time I get my crit. So, there we go. Why, when like he's trying to just close this up? Oh my god, he's got a Mew too. Fucking hell, this fight's terrific. This is probably the hardest fight I've had. Like, in the whole thing so far. The whole series. Hell speeds me from the arc. It seems crazy, but I actually think Mewtwo might be the one to set up on the only... Never mind. Jesus Christ. I think Koga's easy in this. Actually, I'm gonna have one more attempt at this and go by Koga. This is... This is bad though, this is seriously, like, fucking a gold map. If only it was Earthquake from the vault when it was there, man. Another special. I hope it hits a normal clamp on me. Or do that. Okay. Yeah, keep spamming. One more. Uh, I should just hit it. Oh no, I'm chilling actually. So he's next time. Now we heal. And flame throw should kill it. I think. I think like two. Hope that doesn't drop in speed. Doesn't. While this is doing that, I think I should be putting stuff on. Another. Yeah, I might as well. Uh shit, the Mewtwo starts to beat me. Maybe this doesn't crit. Nice. Oh my god, it still lived through 4x specials. Fucking high. And the flamethrower. It doesn't matter if even a faint actually. 
Nice, finally. Oh my god, that fight was so epic. Yeah, an Arbok with Waterfall, a Graveler. Two water Pokemon. One of which quad resists my fire attacks. And a fucking Mewtwo. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that, thanks again. Fuck me. Oh no deal. That took me all 12 15 minutes, like. Tempting Sage and trying to get through that. Nice, just nothing did outspeed me, so I could have hit me with that. Yeah, with the sheer amount of water Pokemon, you are. Stop misplaying, look at You are seeing the importance of um, Thunderbolt or Razor Leaf as a or should we just take it off and swap a move with fucking pounds on? I think at the end of this I'm gonna go in a log file. I'll show you this. Uh, look at the TMs and see if Thunderbolt or Thunder or anything like that with her. And where it was. Probably gonna die uh, until we're alive. Oh, uh, nice! Yeah, you say all you want, fella. <laughs> Let's go, it just healed me for a good point. Yeah, GG, Squirtle. Thanks for that one, pal. <laughs> I'll probably just go straight to Misty as well. I only need to, like, uh, Sabrina, so. She has occasional me and gets Sabrina in about an hour in. On like the best runs, we're like ten minutes over that, so like, I was I was pretty much on pace with them. I made a fuck up with the um, save state thing. Oh, we do also still need to fight Koya though. To be fair, just remember. Normally we're here, haven't already fought Koya. Well, I'm glad as well. I think. So, she can't be much worse than last fight, surely. We famous last words. Sabrina hasn't really caused me a problem in the, in the whole series so far. Which is a surprise, because she's got a high level Pokemon. Uh, but so far it's looking okay as well. Honestly, in these runs, none of the gym leaders really caused me major problems, except for all, on a couple of them. Again, that is expected to be fair, Brock's always gonna give you like the worst RNG. Just gonna close this up again. Harvey is the thing I wanna see least. Kind of a breeze again. Give me a good TM to bring it, please, for love of God. Oh, no, it would have been. It if you tried, it would have been fucking like sound as fuck. In the past. Uh, I'm gonna go one escape rope, but we'll keep it. I don't mind walking out of here. Shouldn't take too long. Again, it might be famous last words. No, we shouldn't. Which one is it here, though? Oh. Okay, now we've got more levels. Can we get through Kogo? We have X items as well for me. Can't set up an either Hollywell. I might be able to two shot both with Bone Club now. So I'm gonna keep missing. Let's get strength over Bone Club. Uh, I don't know. Even if I found something like Hyper Beam or Double Edge, probably it would have felt a bit more comfortable with fucking water Pokemon. Yeah, keep using that. Nice. Koga likes to do that shit, just like Giovanni. It will help me massively. Yeah, let's go, boys. Come on. It's not ideal either. 
give me something I'm super fat against. Definitely, uh, I think for like the last two or three or four runs, we've, we've had a lot less luck with like what we fought against. Just fucking none of these were good for me. All very high special Pokemon that I'm not special against. But nice. We go through. What's his TM going to be? Stop. What are these TMs in this run, man? Yeah, we had all the ingredients there, just not quite the luck. Well, at the end of the day, like I said, to be fair, I did find a Charizard. Which, you know, there's luck, you know. I got two repels through Moon. Also, so, yeah. Ignore me, I'm just bemoaning the TMs, but the more important factors did favour us. Pretty sure with my level I will repel for open here every single time. I go with them stairs, so no, yeah. I just can't help myself. I say that every time as well, and I never remember. It's the only thing I just never remember to do. Oh well, not to do. Defo need to buy another few match repels just to get through Victory Road. I will pick up both TMs here. Jesus Christ, man, they're so bad. It's gonna be the solar beam TM. Okay, cool. Oh, finally! Nice. Thunder punch. Let's go. All right, we get rid of Bone Club. Oh, I'm breathe. It's not insane, um, but we should be fine now for the rest of the run. Honestly, I think we should. Fuck me, I could have done with that like 20 minutes ago. I'd have got through all that section in like 5 minutes that it took me 20 minutes to get through. Ugh. But at least now, the final rival fight was a bit less ominous, to be honest. Star. That'll still be grim, because Almost Star has a really high special stats, actually. So it'd still probably take like two hits, but I feel like Bone Club would have hit, took three hits. Um, the next fight we have. Um, probably have to do my like, long, tedious cell. Uh, so I'm off the pearls. You know I fought that many. Yeah, And it's snow for all of them, except bottom left. So, the mirror match coming up guys, Blaine vs Blaine, what's he going to have? None of gym lead has been a problem. Really, except Pogo. Maybe he's not too bad. I'll probably take two hits though. Nice, we found it. Not half the damage of this. Should have to fuck off. Oh, he's a fucking joke so far. Absolute joke. At least he did have fire Pokemon. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. The 
that's kind of what it was like to gym leaders most of the time, like... First, um... Load of, like, runs like this it did. Like I said, in the last three or four, I've just run into a lot of legendaries and shit. However, that was, uh... Yeah, more like normality. Absolute cake or that. Probably get away if just going straight to the other one. He's going to the gym. One thing I don't have is a really effective potion. I think I've literally only got potions. Hey, this is a absolute walk over a fight. Why even stop me, mate? He sees me strolling in with seven badges. He's like, oh, I'm gonna shout at him. I'm gonna stop him going battle him in the meta part. I've got high hopes I can beat this guy in the meta part. Gosh. Oh, we do have Thunder Punch now. Fine. Let's go. See that fucking Seeking? I would have got through in one shot. Proper fucking me with a clam. Right, what have you got here, Ryan? It's not been a problem once in this whole series. Oh, Thought maybe a blizzard was incoming. Wow, a lid. That wasn't even a crit as well. Oh, oh okay. of course we get crits afterwards. We don't need it. Is it, this is why Giovanni's rarely a problem. He has an obsession with putting like guard specs on and shut down. I will need to use a revive here though, probably. Oh, drop me special. I'm sure this game doesn't sell much vibes anyway. Kind of Alright, GG, Giovanni. Get the air badge. What is his TM going to be? I'm still interested in them. Yeah, on the whole, they weren't great, these TMs, honestly. Think about it, I picked up all 25. I usually pick up about half of them in a room. Or like look at them in the mart and shit. Um I might look at a dream eater one now, actually. Uh the I've four percent of good damage dealer moves, six percent. There's only so many good damage dealer moves, so I feel like I'm below par for the game. Born drill. I mean could be useful, actually. I don't know if I did the fix or nerf X accuracy. If you use X accuracy in this game, you never miss. So I could have li I could literally go to the Elite Four in the past. Pop an X accuracy on and then use Horn Drill and it's just guaranteed to get through. But I think I've I think I got re like removed that option just because it is dead. Surprised if lived. Very spry. Fair play, being so. But well, nice. So far, he's had a good team for me. An Erica in disguise. No, we don't want to let him brawl. We don't ever want to let him brawl. Okay. I mean, it can be good in like showdown and stuff setting off. But... No, I'm okay. Yeah, wow, well, it, it seems really shit. I hope it's like this in the Elite Four. Yeah, 
dead left, even for a threat. Did you get the paralysis? It's me for thunder, it's gonna hurt. Probably gonna kill me. Uh, if I have more than one Pokemon, I'm gonna have to use Revive, it's a safe option, but I was like... I think the ponies are gonna kill it. I'd probably have to have hit it like two or three times, but I'd have got a first move in anyway because it's paralysed. And then... It might have got paralysed again. Never know. Ponytail might have been able to do that. But anyway, we do go with the safe option. He walks off, get a little pussy. And on we go. So we are behind the top three times, definitely. Um, what we're chasing now is four. Time is about 147. I think we can do that. We've got plenty of time to finish four here. Still, water remains the slowest to fall. Pretty surprised though. Two series running, what is done It should do better in Gen 2. There are a couple more TMs here. And uh, look at your eyes, but I'm not going to go look at them. Yeah, we'll just go into early for this new set. We got a Thunder Punch. I mean, all I'd really want to see now is Thunder Bolt, so. Yeah. We're chilling. That is a TM though, right above that, so I might as well get that. Okay. So, um, we need revives when I got like 5 and um, potions, it's about it. Got enough X items, I feel. Double edge and horn drill are not bad moves to have there. There we go. It's like a full restore. And it's so true. Uh, what do I need? Maybe a burn heal, or a die hit. Okay, let's go. I've still got rare candy as well. Must be not to get two of them. I'm gonna try and save it until the first fight that I struggle in, basically. Wow. I'd like you to stop doing that, please. I've only got one of Max Eater. Locked into Frosh now. That was annoying though, PP wasting. Oh, it's gonna have to be me. Oh, Earthquake probably would have hit me, but neutral. Oh my god, nice. Bit lucky stuff missing. I probably should have blizzarded first. We know Bellsprout's gonna live. Well, never mind, we get a crit. We know our back has Waterfall. Don't have a super effective move on it now, we do have to speed it though, we we'll get another crit! Wild Charizard. Let's go boys, it saved its crit for each ball, I'm not pissing about. Try just getting two levels then, not quite, let's go. Uh, but yeah, I was back out and I was like, oh, I wonder if it'll be like the highest level and beat me four, no, not at all, 48. With the uh, red candy, it's about that little case. Uh, safe state. Bruno next up. What have we got? Oh, give it a go. 
to satisfy our sightings on, I think. Don't even need us to talk to Where's my X-Special? All the way up here. So. Oh shit, don't freeze me. Oh crap, yeah. Right, why are there potions there? What the f*** is there? Oh, there's a crit. So that dealt less damage. I'm gonna put two X items on that. Another crit. Oh my god. Electro. Nice. Wasted on X defend like a tethead. Oh, that's good. So, free Bruno. Shit. Okay. Seven forest door. God, I hope there's enough. I feel like I didn't buy enough potions. So fucking dear. Like, you don't pick up that much money because, like, you, you're doing, like, I actually do less than min battles for this. Right. Okay, I'm gonna try and just get through, but if anything's grim, I could set up on probably both Zubat and Nidorina. You know, the kind of shit. Yeah, Surprised that was Fed Nine Tails then. Oh shit. Never mind. It knows try attack. So we would we would go on to learn try attack and what's up. Mine out sped. Did mine out speed though? Sure. Alright, wasting a second brawl, we can take. Nice. Took our chance to heal off again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Please don't freeze me. Hey, honestly, I'm not even sure I can be frozen because I'm a fire type. I can't remember whether it works that way or not. Weezing such a tank. You get level 60. Oh, really, bro? Is this how it's gonna go? So you miss. 55% accuracy, it's hit me twice in a row, classic. I try hypnosis and showdown, it's all six in a row. Six percent accurate. Nice, we're through. Yeah, definitely uh, on course for fourth place right now. It's not podium, not a medal, but it's still very, very good. Like, for perspective, at the moment, we're on course to get time pass in any last series. This would have been first last series. As it sounds. Nice, perfect. Okay, time to sell. I've got so many X items, might as well. Probably will end up freezing me by the time I do all this. Yeah. But, just four is still. So there's four. And I'll put uh, one X speed on. I don't need one.
Nice, we got no crits. Crit would be the only thing that like, doesn't kill these fuckers. Let's go. GG! So we did have a dragon, <laughs> at the end. Uh, but the dragons have... devolved. Maybe they're just teeny. Um, what's I gonna do? Oh yeah. Might as well pop me red candies on. It's level 53 now. Use a halo. Oh, there's no point. Alright, let's go. So I know one of his Pokemon is going to be the very last one, of course, going to be Rapidash itself. So, uh, yeah, Pidgey is fine to sell on this. Got next speed on first. He's about to Sky Slap me though. That would be Typer, so it'll deal more than it normally would. Yeah, this could hurt me, I'll probably have to heal after this. Oh well, never mind. Fuck all. Of course, I always forget, like, it's, it's not only like Typhlus, but like, I swear the damage on these attacks is like, you know, a bit. It's only a Pidgey, as well, granted. It's weak as fuck. So we should be chill now, should one shot everything. Not a single thing could outspeed me. Like I said, for the only thing now that can probably stop me is a um, crit or something like that. It's better than Ekans. Like that. They kinda need to crit me as well, to so much a chance. Nice, it's over. Another piggy. Unlucky rival. Yeah, rival's last two fights for shit, but the hardest fight by far is rival in so. And Poga. Aside from that, no fight was really a problem. You take them two out, fuck. It would have been, like. And the mistake I made. Take them three things out. I could have been, like, on pace with the front three. They're still standalone by, like, a good ten minutes. But, this is about the 10 minutes ahead, there we go, of um, the time we did win last series, and um, about 13-14 minutes ahead of fourth, but, uh, yeah, I wonder what was happening. Um, yeah, it's fourth by a bit of a distance away from third and ahead of fifth. In-game time was decent, but now it's 25-15. Yeah, the in-game time at the end, it will be reflective of all, like, how much closer it was to actually, like, bingo. I think I will make a note in the rankings and then discuss that when we come to, like, the final famous episode where I kind of talk about each one in a touch more detail. Uh, the, I basically did make a mistake. It cost me about five minutes, didn't it? Let's face it. And then we had tough self rival and Koga. Uh, but I'm happy with that run, guys. I'm not gonna bother looking on the log file now to see where Thunderbolt was or anything. Never been mad. But I will wait for this to run out, and we'll see where the other fire Pokemon were. Um, and we will also, of course, see what we're running next time. So, only six types remain now, I think. Ice, Rock, Ground, grass. Uh, dragon. Um, uh, oh, don't. I think there's only five left. Hmm. Ice, ground, rock, dragon, grass. Oh, bug. Yeah, that's it one. So let's go, what else? I feel like we saw most of the fire Pokemon again. I didn't see Vulpix, I don't think I saw Growlithe or Arcanine. 
I didn't see Flareon. Actually, so yeah, I'm Charm. I saw all this line. Charmander... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just the grass before me. That little patch of grass. We can find one there. Charmeleon was in the Pokemon Tower. We never found that, so we don't get Silph Scope. Oh, Charizard was also in the forest as well. Although it'd have been a lot harder to find, because we can't really follow. You know. We barely run into anything. I did see Vulpix. It was just by fly, and between. And the route we never go between Fuchsia and Lavender. Nine Tails was in Pokemon Tower and Safari, so that would have been like. ball like to find. I didn't even look up Pony Tower itself to see if I could call it another one. Um, didn't need to at that point. It was in Safari. Rapidash was in Moon and just north of Cerulean. So we'd have been chilling for like a HM bitch if we didn't find Charizard. Magma was on Cyclone mode. Yeah, I didn't see Flare on. Moltres. Oh shit, Moltres was like really early game as well. I could have got Moltres. I mean, I was happy with my Charizard. I was thinking then, should I go and catch one and just see? But no, obviously it was quite a rare encounter. I saw three different encounters there. So I went. Um, but it was also in Safari Zone. It was me too. I'm interested in Safari Zone. there. I don't even need to look up these. Okay, that run is done, guys. As always, after this episode, I'll go away and tally it up and update you at the start of next episode where it is. Uh, also, the time of all of the runs are, once again, in the description below if you want to check them. Um, except this run, of course, which you do have to go and tally up once you finish recording. Now we are going to go on our random Pokemon generator and see what we're running next time. Next time is going to be the 10th run out of 15, so. Almost two thirds of the way through. And as always, it's getting harder and harder, taking longer and longer to generate something that we can run, but not today. Because there we go, straight from the off, we found something that shares a type that we've not run yet. Bug. But free is bug flying. Um, we've already done a flying run, of course, though, so we're going to be doing a bug monotype and starting with butter free. It's an interesting one. I don't know whether it'd be runnable or not. It's definitely one of the better bug Pokemon. I'd sooner run Cypher, Pinsir, or Venomoth, or Pyrocer. Maybe even Beedrill. But, you know, it could have been like Caterpie or something to start with. One downside is, to be fair, maybe it would have been better starting with Caterpie and then evolving it to Metapod and Butterfree because we've got more info to find another bug Pokemon. Of course, I've got to find one before I get to HMs, and there's not. So there's not that many of them in the game. This is, yeah, there's a fair few, I guess. There's probably more bug Pokemon than fire Pokemon, and I was chilling there. So yeah, interesting one. Um, the rival of bug, I think, it makes sense to make it flying and give it Faulkner, who was the protagonist last, and the, the, the guy who finished first. Uh, we're going to make him the antagonist. I'm going to give him Eric Dacto. Buster Free is quad weak to rock. Um, so again, it's kind of like a rock rival basically, but it's not going to be Brock, it, it's not going to be Misty, it's going to be um, Falconer. We've had three rock rivals in a row. Well, rock Pokemon. Because <laughs> we did have Brock with an Onyx, then uh, Misty with an Omastar, now Falconer with an Aerodactyl. So. But yeah, yeah, a standard rock throw or rock slide will utterly fuck us up. Um, we're also weak to electric, fire, ice, poison, I think. Yeah. Oh, God. This could be a rough run. I think the aim is to finish top half. If I can finish, like, top five or six, uh, I'll be pretty happy. So, we'll see that next time, guys. Hope you join us for that one. Uh, enjoyed this run today. It was a pretty good one. Hope you did, too.